Hello everyone, this is Enea here, and in today's tutorial I'll teach you how to create this cubic letter logo in Affinity Designer. This logo is made of three letters, which constitute the three faces of a cube, and we're going to create this logo with the help of an isometric grid. Alright, so to get started we go to File New and we create a new composition. We give it 1000 by 1000 pixels in dimensions. And then we go to the Margin tab and we uncheck Include Margin and we click on Create. And then we make sure that Snapping, Snap to Grid and Snap to Object Bounding Boxes are enabled. And we uncheck Snap to Spread as it might cause hindrance on this particular design. And then we go to View, Grid and Axis. We check on Show Grid to make it visible. And then we go to the Advanced tab and as a grid type we select Isometric which is a grid made of horizontal rhombuses. We'll leave the spacing as it is, and we close the grid manager. And then we're going to start drawing the three faces of a cube. So we take the pen tool, we set the fill to none, and we're going to set the stroke to light pink, and the stroke width to one point, and then we go ahead and we create a rhombus of 5 by 5 grid units in length, like this. And then we press on Escape to unselect. And then we're going to create the bottom left face of the cube, like this. Also 5 by 5 grid units in length. And then we take the Move tool. We press on Ctrl J to duplicate it, and we flip it horizontally, and we move it to the right while holding Shift, until it snaps to the two other faces of the cube. And then we select all three faces of the cube, and we press on Ctrl G to group them together. So now we have created the cube, and we are going to create the letters in it. So we take the pen tool again, and we set the stroke color to black. And then we go ahead and we create the letters along the grid. So first we're going to create the letter E, like this. So make sure to stay along the grid. It is important that we close it in order to be able to set a fill color to it. And then we press on Escape to unselect. And then we go ahead and we create the letter A here on the bottom left side of the cube. Like this. And then we close it. And we press on Escape to unselect. And then we go ahead and we create a parallelogram like this. And we press on Escape to unselect. And then we select both the parallelogram and the outer edge of the letter A. And we go here to the subtract operator. So now we have created the letter A. And we press on Escape to unselect. And then we take the pen tool again. And we are going to create the letter G on the bottom right side of the cube. Make sure to stay along the grid. And then we close it, and we press on Escape to unselect. All right, so now we have created all three letters. And we can hide the pink lines. And we are going to set colors to the letters. So we are going to set the colors to three different shades of the same hue to give it the impression of lightning. I will set the letter E to a light shade of blue. And then I will set the letter G to a dark shade of blue. And then I will set the letter A 
to a shade of blue in between. And then we select all three letters. And we're going to remove the stroke. And also we're going to hide the grid because we are not going to need it anymore. And then the last step is going to be to create the gaps between the letters. And we're going to do that with the contour tool. So we select the contour tool. And we select the contour type to meter in order to preserve the sharp angles and the corner. And then we lower the radius, so I'll set it to minus four. And as you can see, this creates the gaps between the letters. And lastly, if you want, we can add a drop shadow to the letters. So we press on Ctrl G to group them together. And then we go here to FX. We select Outer Shadow. And then we can increase the values and this add an outer shadow to the letters. So this magnifies the volume effect to the logo. And then we can close the Layer FX Manager. All right, so that was it for this tutorial. You learned how to create a cubic letter logo in Affinity Designer. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Affinity Designer tutorials in the future. And until then, see you next time. Bye.